My cousin Trey's in jail right now for stuff he definitely did. <laughs> I don't know if y'all read about the jail system in America, but it's really fucked up. A lot of people getting charged and serving time that aren't war warranted the crime that, that's committed, and that's really fucked up. But Trey earned every year. Uh, <laughs> He's a bad guy, I love him to death. He's a bad dude. I was there when his house got raided. I didn't want to be there. Uh, they don't send warnings. You know, I was just hanging out like it was a raid-free day, like every day before that. You know, I was eating breakfast like ain't no raids today, you know? I was playing Call of Duty and all of a sudden that game got real IMAX 3D on a motherfucker. <laughs> As I was swinging into a house, they were swinging in our house. I was like, damn, PS2 is on some new shit. <laughs> they put us all on the ground. They put Trey against the wall, and they said, Trey Johnson, you under arrest. And then that's when Trey said the most gangster thing I've ever heard anybody say live in front of my face to the police. He looked them in their eyes and was like, about time. What? You should have caught me last year. Shut up! <laughs> you still gotta go to court, man. Even the police officer was like, yo, you have the right to remain silent. <laughs> and he was like, you don't, you can't silence me. Like, sh this is gonna be a slam dunk case. <laughs> and it was. I think the prosecutor wore sweatpants. I don't know, no one tried. <laughs> My parents been together 33 years, both black, both my original parents, not the remix. And um, I'm very proud of that. I used to like have to defend it because I wanted to be a gangster growing up with my cousin Trey, who's a real gangster. Me, yeah, I had this face and I wanted to be a gangster and I smiled a lot and it got me in trouble. Like they would see me smiling in pictures like, yo, why you smiling? And I would be like, cause life is beautiful, nigga. You know, <laughs> which is not gangster. It's not a gangster. But I tried my best. But they always used to make me feel bad for having two parents, you know? Because I, I was uh, raised around a lot of kids who had broken homes, and they used to be like sitting around like, yo, I had, I had to raise myself because I ain't had no dad, dogs. So I had to grow up, take care of my siblings. Chris, you fucking lucky, you blessed. You don't know shit about that struggle. You got two parents, boy. You spoil you. You don't know nothing about that. And I, I was like, that's fair. Because <laughs> I have to acknowledge the other side. But I was like, but you don't know what it's like to be yelled at for the same thing twice. <laughs> you ain't do your homework? You ain't do your homework? What are y'all, amigos? Chill. <laughs> and there's a lot of white people in here, so half of y'all got amigos. <laughs> My parents, I, I don't think watching two people be together for a long time makes me like an expert at love by any means, but I think it does give me hints and clues. Like, I know to be together with somebody for a long time, you definitely have to be cunningly petty. Like, you have to be petty, not petty for petty's sake, but cunningly petty. Because it takes a petty person to be with another person for that long. Like, you know your relationship is in good standing if y'all could fight in the morning and still go out that same day because you already bought tickets. And that <laughs> is love. Love makes you hang out with somebody you can't stand right now. Like, that's... If you've seen two people who've been together argue and who are like massively petty, it always uses logic, emotion, and something from 2008 for no reason. <laughs> I've seen my parents argue over the color blue. I was there the whole time. I still don't understand why, but this is what happened. My mom's like, Melvin, I like this blue. What do you think of this blue? And my dad was like, that ain't blue. That's light blue. You don't know your goddamn colors. <laughs> I thought that was pretty harsh. I was like, damn, dad. And my mom's like, it's okay. That's why his dick ain't work last week. <laughs> that ain't got shit to do with colors. <laughs> and my dad's like, my dick work all the time. My dick work nine to five. I was like, dad, that's eight hours. <laughs> that's not all the time. I'm not saying you lying, my nigga. I'm just saying it's 24 hours in a day. <laughs> you, you missing some hours. <laughs> then he looked at me like, it, it works overtime, son. I'm like, don't explain your dick to me. I'm proof it worked once, chill. <laughs> that was 8.30 in the morning, they were mad all day, all day long, just cussing up through the house, mad at each other, but they had bought movie tickets for seven o'clock, so they had to leave, and they still went. But they were petty as hell about it, though. You know, as they're walking out, my mom was like, I got my brown coat. 
I'm ready to go. Where's my black purse? And my dad was like, hanging off my hard dick. I'm like, that's love. <laughs> that's love. <laughs>